Let's look at this first question. We want to know whether a diagonalizable matrix is invertible. So before we get into it, take a moment to see if you can prove the statement, or if you don't believe it's true, you believe it's false, try to find a counterexample. So recall that a matrix A is invertible if there's a matrix B such that AB is equal to BA is equal to the identity. In other words, we can undo the operation of matrix multiplication via another matrix. An equivalent way of defining this is by saying that a matrix is invertible if its determinant is non-zero. Again, to make sure we know what we're talking about, take a moment and see if you can write down an example of a 2x2 two two invertible matrix, as well as a 2x2 two two non-invertible matrix. My example of an invertible 2x2 two two matrix is just the identity, with 1, 0, 0, 1. My example of a non-invertible 2x2 two two matrix is just the zero matrix, the matrix with zeros in all columns and all rows. In the comment section down below, let me know what examples you chose. Did you choose the dumb ones that I chose, or did you choose more interesting ones? Now, a matrix A is said to be diagonalizable if we can find a basis such that A is diagonal with respect to that basis. Put in another way, we can find an invertible matrix P and a diagonal matrix D such that A can be written as P, D, P inverse. This is exactly the same as saying that we can change the basis such that when A is written in this basis, it's diagonal. Again, to make sure we're on the same page, take a moment to write down an example of a diagonalizable matrix. The example I'm going to choose is again the dumb one. I'm just going to choose the identity matrix with ones on the diagonal and zero elsewhere. This is certainly a diagonalizable matrix. It's diagonal. So the relationship between invertibility and eigenvalues is seen from the fact that the determinant is given by the product of the eigenvalues. So if the eigenvalues are lambda 1 through lambda n, then the determinant is just given by lambda 1 times lambda 2 all the way through to lambda n. Now a matrix is not invertible as soon as the determinant is zero. And so in particular, a matrix is not invertible as soon as one of the eigenvalues is zero. So as a consequence, all we need to do is find a diagonal matrix with at least one of the diagonal entries being zero. The simplest example, perhaps one of the simplest examples, is given by the matrix 1, 0, 0, 0. This is certainly diagonal. All the entries that are not on the diagonal are zero, but it's not invertible since there's a zero on the main diagonal 